Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReview.com. You're probably wondering, what's all this about? Well, let me show you. I, I practiced this beforehand, so hopefully I can do this with my eyes closed now, blindfolded. But what you're looking at right here is two um, business card holders. I hope I've got them in the frame. I don't know. Uh, one of them is gimmicked. One of them is not. I'm not going to tell you which one, but you'll sort of find out in a minute. But they look identical. I'm, now, I know when I practiced this that uh, sometimes the reflection was a little funny, so I'm going to tilt it a few different ways, hoping that I get a decent shot of it. Um, if not, I'll have to reshoot it, I guess. Anyway, so I'm putting that down, and now I have somewhere on my, there it is, on my table. I hope this is in frame. Uh, mini deck of cards, they are all different. I'm blindfolded, so I can have myself legitimately pick a card and legitimately not know what the card is. Hopefully you can see that I'm really shuffling them. No false shuffles. I'll just take one. I don't know that one. Is that two? No, that's one. That card right there feels like two. It is two. How about that card? Whatever that one is. Okay, now here we go. I'm going to now... I, I, I'm turning it towards facing me, but I promise you I cannot see that card. Now, this business card case right here is the gimmicked one. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to close it up somehow. There we go. Okay, that's closed. And then the other one is not gimmicked. This probably looks like a train wreck here, guys. Sorry. Okay, that's it. It's sealed up inside the business card case. I'm for the first time taking off my blindfold. Whew! Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I know that that card that I just selected on myself is the Ace of Spades. That's what you're buying, the ability to do that. And I went through all the rigmarole with the blindfold and everything to do the best that I could to prove to you that I didn't just know the information ahead of time. I really had no idea what card I put in there, but I instantly have access to it. Now, you would not perform this blindfolded. That was just for your viewing pleasure. And my eyes are still adjusting to the light. Um, that was just for you. In reality, you would just have uh, you have a stack of business cards inside the business card case. Uh, you pull one out, they'd write something on it or whatever, and then they put it back in the case. They can do that while your back's turned or you're not looking. You genuinely do not see it, and then it's the lid is closed, and you even get, let's see if I've got it here. Yeah, you get this little cloth case thing that you can put, um, you can put the business card case in. Or, you know, holder in there, and that's another time when you can get your peak. Uh, but I got the peak just a second ago, and that's how I'm able to know what the card is. So that's what you're getting. The gimmick is awesome, it's very well made, very clever, very smart, uh, easy to use. It's, you have instant access to it. Um, so if you haven't figured it out, that's what we're reviewing here The Business by Romanos. Uh, before I go on, uh, I have to tell you that Peter Nardi is the devil yes he had a twitch in his nose throughout most of the filming of the video and he kept fiddling with it and then all of a sudden my nose started bleeding from the same side that he was fiddling with he put a hex on me Peter Nardi is the devil man he made my nose bleed weird anyway all, when all said and done, guys, what you're getting here, I gave this five-star stone status of gem. It's 66 bucks, but remember, you're getting two cases. This one is totally uh, not gimmicked, and then the other one, which is gimmicked, and then you get this little cloth bag to keep it in. It also helps keep them clean. Um, and you get about a 30-minute DVD. Now, the DVD was uh, it's Alkazam, so it's well-produced and everything, um, but they did kind of skim over some of the routines. But once you see how the gimmick works, there's really not a whole lot more to teach you. And they, the information is definitely there. The only thing that bugged me just a teeny bit was uh, they, this happens a lot on Alakazam products where they'll say, well, if you own this other effect, then you can do this trick. And then they sort of talk you through it, but you have no idea really what they're talking about because you don't own the other effect. So that's a little bit annoying, and it's not even necessarily uh, another Alkazam product that they're pitching, so it's not like they're just doing a shameless plug for their other products. 
it, but it is a little frustrating if you don't happen to own the product or you're not familiar with how it works, then you don't have the ability to do it. Although there was one that when they claimed what the effect was that you could do, I thought maybe I need to go buy that other product. Anyway, enough of that, guys. You get the idea. It really is a very legitimate replacement um, uh, for a Peak Wallet. If you like your Peak Wallet and you don't have a need for another one, that's fine. But uh, to me, this prop is uh, uh, very, very good, very organic, as they say. And it works extremely well, and it will last you forever. And considering that you're getting those two things plus the little cloth bag all for 66 bucks, is not a bad deal. So that's it, guys. Five stars, stone status of gem. Uh, you have the ability to instantly access information that's written down, that's put in the case. And by the way, it doesn't have to be the only item in the case. And I would never do it with a card like that. That was just for your demonstration. Uh, typically, you have your business cards in there. And they can put their business card, you know, put a business card back in there. They gave several really cool routines that I really liked uh, that are techniques I would try if I actually use this product. Um, and I, I say that like oh, I would never use it. It is the kind of thing that I might find myself using. But if I put it to use, there was a couple really, really good ones on the DVD that I really liked that I think I would try out first. I also had a couple of my own ideas of what I might do with it. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's end it with the random iTunes song of the moment. Today we have Taylor Swift again. Hours. Uh, before I came to the to do this video, the other song I was listening to happened to also be Taylor Swift. When I clicked through a few times to pick a random song, it just happened to land on her again. That's how many I've got of her in my playlist. Anyway, that's ours, Taylor Swift. And uh, I'm a little disoriented from that whole blindfold thing, so sorry if this review is a little discombobulated. Yes, I said discombobulated. That's it for me, folks. Thanks for watching. Peace it out. <laughs>